Good morning, Facebook. How are you guys doing? Uh, thank you for joining us today. And um, I'd like you to introduce you today to somebody that, uh, um, an incredible human, uh, somebody who I respect very much. Um, and uh, let me just uh, show you this. Yeah, um, so today we're talking about uh, an actor, comedian, and all around good human. Guy called Sivuyile Ngesi. You probably know him better as Siv Ngesi from uh, from your uh, doings on Facebook and Instagram. And this guy's bio is insane. Um, I've been, um, I mean, rubbing shoulders with Clint Eastwood and Invictus uh, alongside Idris Elba in the Long Walk to Freedom. Um, lots of television credits. Uh, even on the Hit American Series 24 with Kiefer Sutherland. And, um, I mean, look at those awards. And I think it's probably updating as we speak. And, um, yeah, dudes, there he is. There he is. Hello. Sir, how are hey you doing, guys. brother? <laughs> Great, thanks to you, man. How are you I doing, love, man? I love this idea. Good, man. I love this initiative that you're doing. It's so great to be, be on the show. Cool, man. Dude, how are you doing? What What are you keeping yourself busy with? I mean, we all in the same in the same boat, but what the hell? What are you, how are you keeping yourself busy these days? Um, during the lockdown. Yeah. Uh, I must be honest. I bake every day. Uh, I gym two to three hours a day. Uh, I skip. I bake. I, I watch. Um, I have classes. I watch. I, I go on masterclass.com. I do different classes with different uh, celebrities and different uh, like crazy master of a club. I do American accent coaching. Uh, oh my been, goodness. Uh, so it really does inspire me. I'm working harder than anything else. My brain is switched on. I go, I go to bed tired every single day uh, and it's been a very productive and I'm really I'm liking it because I think I, I'm quite a lone wolf. Um, so this works perfectly for me. I love being alone, dude. Uh, uh, what I'm, what I'm, what I was going to ask you now is, what do you? Is the, is the, I've asked everybody the same question. What have you been busy with this year so far, or what are you? What, are, what is? What, what have you done so far in from Oof. January to to now? Before we, is, before you lockdown. You know, I said, I said this. I was in an interview yesterday, and, and I think this lockdown could be a blessing in disguise. 2020 for me started like it was so crazy. Uh, I the uh, city uh, on circuit as we speak, but obviously cinemas are closed. So in the beginning, I was doing a lot of PR, a lot of publicity, a lot of interviews, different kinds of things continuously uh, for two films. I have a, a TV series that's every uh, on Mnet every Thursday night uh, at eight o'clock, which I've been doing a lot of PR and interviews for that. So, and I was busy shooting another Afrikaans film called Gal Khatal. I have another film coming out, a Nigerian film. So I was doing a lot of, I've been busy, man. Uh, and I feel I needed a break, even though it's three months in. And this, this break's been amazing. I, I must be honest. I haven't been home this long. I haven't done as many dishes like I've done recently. So it's been, it's been inspiring. <laughs> yeah, dude, dishes. Oh, my wife is just thinking for a lot of things for me to do. And I'm doing dishes, my hands are clean all the time yeah all the bloody time I, hope, <laughs> I wish my i wish my mind was as clean as my hands are at the moment <laughs> yeah as usual <laughs> so um this downtime we spoke about this this downtime downtime has affected you affected you um in a in a positive way would you say i mean it's it's i call yeah, it downtime it's, you know for me i you know i'm an industry person i've been in industry since i was nine years old um, yeah. I really have mastered the art of being able to make money and save money and continue to have an income. So I think a lot of people, this lockdown really hit them hard because a lot of them don't have any money to keep them going. So financial things have not been a worry to me. I can't imagine what lockdown is with people who don't have money, don't have an income coming in, or yeah. don't know where the income's going to come in. So I yeah. need to be able to admit that I have a privilege in that sense, is I have a yeah. lovely cushion. Um, today I spent two, two and a half thousand rand on groceries today because I have specific things that I like at Woolworths 
and I have a specific meal that I like to eat, and I'm going to eat that, and I refuse to change. I had six to seven meals a day. I'm quite precise. They, they, they diet meals. But if you don't have money, I'm sure lockdown is horrible. Um, yeah. I need... I, 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 I am not cocky enough to not realize that I, I'm, I'm a lucky person. I'm in a very privileged position in where I am. But lockdown for me has been an utter dream. I have been, I have been learning every day. I have been watching motivational talks every day, continuously putting knowledge in my mind, reading scripts, reading books. Um, I'm really inspired. I'm looking, and you know, I, I, I pity anyone who stands in my way after this, you know, this lockdown ends because I'm, I'm too inspired. Are you the are you the flood that we are all the flood that we are all uh, going to be looking forward to after this after this lockdown? I must be honest. I after the, the, the with the start I've had, I think after lockdown I need to calm down until I have another film in September. Wait for that. Yes. I've got a film coming out in September, and then I have another, so I'm just gonna I just want to work. I start on set end of April. Uh, if lockdown doesn't affect it, and I start another film in June, so just continuously working and just make, trying to be a better version of myself every day. What are you able to tell us? Uh, I mean, some things, obviously, you've got some NDAs that you can't uh, disclose right now, but what have we got to look forward to from you for, for, for the rest of the um, year? I'm shooting this incredible TV series that's going international, and it's all in, in, in South African black languages, no English. Uh, it's been it's already been sold overseas. Really looking forward to that. Um, an African story about Africa and Africa and everything that's happening in Africa. Uh, and it's like 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 a like a, what's it called like a like a Wakanda type. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, and I'm really really enjoying that. I have another thing which is like a South African Australian uh, job that's been done. It's a South African horror film. There hasn't been many horror films uh, in South Africa. Yeah. So really pushing that one. Um, and then I've just got another films in the pipeline creating a lot of content, getting into baking, getting into cooking, getting into the exercise space. So as soon as I finish speaking to you, I'm going to have to get my exercise ready. At 5.30, I'm going live uh, for a gym, uh, doing like a workout session. And I'm going to be yeah. baking a lemon meringue uh, straight after you. I'll bake a lemon meringue. <laughs> uh, no, 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 lemon meringue. I'm doing a cheesecake. A cheesecake. All right. Well, lemon meringue and cheesecake, both my favorites, man. Yeah. Dude, um, uh, you, you, you've already you've already said a few things, uh, but your 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 industry, uh, for, uh, you know, I mean, you do you do everything, but you mainly acting and 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 presenting and um, doing your mm -hmm. charities. What do you what do you what would you say is is a is a word of encouragement for 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 those actors out there that are that are that are not in your position. Do you have anything to share? To share, uh, you know, just the words of encouragement. Um, I've got a few things. the The most important and hardest lesson you have to learn is just because you are talented, it doesn't mean you deserve work. Many talented people die hungry. Don't be fooled to think because you're talented, you deserve to work. Uh, there are millions. I repeat, millions of people who are more talented than me, who deserve to be in a position that I am, but unfortunately they can't market themselves or sell their product. And I'm able to market and sell my product in a way many of them can't. Uh, secondly, truth. Um, I, Absolutely. Which mm. is truth. Uh, I, I think in, any, in anything in life, if you're able to be truthful and authentic, real and likable, you know? Uh, I, I treat the camera guy the boom swinger guy, the sweeper, the caterer, exactly the same. Yeah. And the day I see someone not doing that, I will speak and go, that's not how you treat people. Um, for me, the, I don't, you don't, you'll never see me kissing a producer's ass. You, you, there's more of a choice if you see me kissing the caterer's ass because that person's feeding me. The camera guy, because he's going to keep me in focus. At the end of the day, they're all people. Um, yeah. And then another, just, just always, feed yourself with knowledge like if i didn't learn another lesson in my acting i'll continue to work for many years to come i don't have to learn to be better i do it because i want to not because it's going to get me more work but i continuously want to be a better version of myself uh and another thing that's a lot of south african actors and performers don't get your body is your tool make sure yeah. you keep it healthy make sure yeah. it looks 
decent. And for me, I'm 34 now, turning 35. I want to. I I have the body of a 21 year old. You know what I mean? Uh, I have the muscles. 21 year olds wish they had muscles like me. And it's because I'm going into that father. I'm 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 not even. Talking, but but I know. I'm going into the stage now of becoming a, a leading man age. And I know I need to be at a certain position and I'm, I'm pushing for that continuously. And it's really is paying off continuously. And I think that lastly um, is, it's just, just be real, man. Just be real and just, just go out there and take in knowledge, watch films, watch films, like watch films, learn. rewind films, learn, 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 learn. learn. For example, you do camera work. If you yeah. stayed in the, the camera that you flipping learned on when you first started, you wouldn't be where you are now. Yeah, you, know, you always learn, you see what's what's available, what's coming. You got to be adapting. You got to be on your toes, like any sport. If you're stagnant yeah. and still, you can't move gracefully. Just stay on your toes, man. Yeah, I always say you can't be a one trick pony in this industry because it just doesn't oh. just it just can't 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 work. It just is not sustainable. Absolutely not no, sustainable. No, no. Siv, I wanted. I want you to to give us just uh, uh, um, an idea. Uh, you've got some fantastic charities that you do. There's one that that I uh, I absolutely love that you do is when you <clears throat> when you put on your Superman suit and you and you go to those kids that are ill. It's such an inspiring thing. I get I get goose pimples every time I see it, and I think it's such a fantastic initiative from your side. And I love what you do. Do you want to give it a plug? Do you want to tell us about it? Um, oh my goodness! Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm a loud man. I, I'm in your face. I'm bombastic, but, I, but my soul is the only thing that's just, the only thing that's bigger than my ego is my heart. Um, I really, I, I'm a lover. I have a soft spot for kids. Um, I have a, I had this little kid who who loved Superman, so. She, her mom was like, can I go to chemo with her? So I went to chemo with her and she's like, she loves Superman. So I wore my Superman outfit. Um, I have a very soft spot for kids, charities across South Africa. Um, I really do a lot of work with them. Um, it, you know, like for example, when I was in, in Japan, you realize that in Japan, people aren't honorable for you. People are honorable for themselves. So they do good. It doesn't matter good you know there's a selfish part of my, me that does good i do good because it feels good it just feels good i feel like a better version yeah. of myself when i do it so kids i'll do anything and everything for kids there's a lot of projects that a lot of people don't know about that i do and I, I i love children man i'll do anything for children um and I, i'll continue to the day i die to, to continue to give back to children and and people anyone who anyone Anyone who, the, the, any injustices that are caused against any group, I, yeah. I, I, will, I will fight for. Yeah, therefore, I mean, you're also very outspoken when it comes to uh, 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 abuse against women and children, um, uh, gender-based violence, um, rape, um, all sorts of all sorts of injustices. And uh, I, I appreciate that of you, man, because especially as you're saying, your, your heart is bigger. The heart, only thing bigger than your ego is your heart. And, and that's an honest <laughs> and very a very honest thing to do. And, and I mean, your... your I really respect you, and 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 thank you for thank you for for being part of part of my network of of people yeah, that I can that I can tap Always into. Same. Anything Always anything same. else you'd like to to, to chat about? I, I just want to for me. I currently I, this Corona thing. I think the interesting thing about this Corona thing. I think I, I think it's an opportunity for us as South Africans to start again. I think um, we're. I read before I came online. I read an article of a lady who said. Thank God for the coronavirus because it brought water to our village. In other words, what she's saying is that we had no water before this. But because yeah. we have to keep our hands clean, we have now have yeah. water. Yeah. I think every South African should take a moment to be able to like, your biggest issue is you can't walk your dog or you can't go for a <laughs> fucking run. When yeah. some people's biggest issue is that they don't have water. Water, water. Right? And I think for me, as South Africans, we should come together and reevaluate what is a need, what is a want, and what is a uh, what is what is uh, what is a need and what is a want. Uh, people need water. People need yeah. water. You know, people need to be able to eat. And what is a want? 
And I think that, I think if you finish this lockdown and you, you, you leave this lockdown more selfish than you were when you came back, you have failed. And if you leave this yeah. lockdown and you do not want to help more people get out of the positions that they're in, you have failed. And if you leave yeah. this lockdown and you're not a better version of yourself, you have failed. And for me, I refuse, I refuse to end this lockdown and not be a better version of myself. And I refuse that more people are not being helped by the, my hands than they were before the lockdown. So for me, I'm just saying South Africans, it's, a, it's an opportunity now. To, have you seen how the rates of, of murder have dropped? The rates, the yeah. rates have dropped tremendously because they've taken out alcohol, con they've taken away alcohol uh, uh, consumption. And, yes. and a lot of people don't understand why they did that. They took away alcohol consumption because they knew less alcohol will mean less violence uh, uh, across people. So that means there will be less beds for people for coronavirus. So less me, dumb ass decisions when you're drunk. <laughs> drinking and drunk, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but for me, yeah. I, I'm, I, I want to be, as South Africans, we will take a moment and be better after this. That's all. Sif, I appreciate you, man. I can't wait to work Thanks, with man. you uh, again soon, sooner yes, rather soon. than later. From sure, your brother. couch in uh, couch in Cape Town to my couch in Broncospreit of all places in the middle of South yeah. Africa. <laughs> thank yeah. you. You keep well and, uh, and and thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy that uh, workout day, and that lemon meringue. Love Love you, man. You. Cheers, brother. Bye. Bye. Well, there you have it, guys. Fantastic uh, person. Uh, I've I've worked with him on many different productions and uh, and and been acquainted with uh, with him for a long time. Um, I do think it's 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 no solutions today, but uh, very inspiring um, human and somebody to look out for. Um, I do encourage you that if you are watching on this on YouTube later, please uh, hit the like button, as uh, the YouTubers say. Um, if there's a bell notification, if there's a new uh, post on on Facebook, leave a comment and subscribe if you if you if you want. Uh, I'm not going to leave you there. I'm, tomorrow I am talking to also another fantastic human. Let me just go there and show you. I am talking to Darren Kerr from uh, a company called 10th Street. He's the managing director and the founder of 10th Street. Uh, um, you're welcome to go and, watch, uh, go and research and check the websites and see what they're all about. Darren is a f also, uh, I just, I, yeah, fantastic humans. Um, are part of my um let's make this there we go um, let's do that there we go darren's darren kerr um i'm talking him to, to tomorrow at 11 o'clock please tune in and uh i'm posting this to facebook uh, i'm posting this to um youtube uh every evening so you'll be able to go and watch this later on facebook and on youtube and um yeah i i appreciate everybody's time and i appreciate uh, your, your your everybody's comments I see it's called, it's creating more traction every day. And um, yeah, this conversation, I would like you guys to join in. I see the the, the, the comments are, are coming through now. So uh, and people are just saying you're getting better at this vision mixing. Keep on going. Good work. Thank you very much, Will. I appreciate uh, you having a look um, at what we're doing. Go oh, taking myself off here. Yeah, just as I get better. There we go. All I can say is join us tomorrow at 11. We're talking to Darren Kerr. And uh, thank you for everybody being part of this. And leave your comments. Tell me what you'd like to know. Tell me what you'd like to chat about. Give us an idea of what you'd like us to do, what I can, who I can speak to. What I'd like to do is, is encourage people, give ideas, stimulate conversation, and, and, and get us talking in this industry from Everybody, all the way from from the runner to the it's like Siv was saying, everybody from the runner to the to the executive producers, and everybody in between. I really like to see your comments. You you're welcome to go and comment later on uh, on the on the Facebook feed that that's being saved on Facebook. And um, yeah, guys, here we go. I think uh, I'd like to sign off now. And um, yeah, have a fantastic. What is it today? Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Ah, my brain is brain is getting getting in holiday mode in this lockdown, which is uh, very scary. Guys, comment, subscribe, check it out, share it. Thank you very much for joining us. See you tomorrow.